What's going on Zen Dude Nation? I got some fantastic news for all of you today. We got a free four week challenge and it's coming your way. Here's the deal you guys. Some of you know this, some of you do not know this, but we have a free four week challenge that we give away to everyone in the community. Now I understand some of you already are in the four week challenge, maybe you've already completed it. Please watch this video either way because we have a lot of FAQs we're gonna answer in this video that we get from you guys all the time. Who is this four-week challenge for? This four-week challenge is for anyone who wants to start jumping rope and moving their body and starting to just build momentum with this exercise habit. Because let's be honest, it's not easy when you first start working out and it's not easy when you're learning a new skill like jump rope. So to help get you going and get you some momentum, this four-week challenge is a great place to start. You're gonna get four weeks of workouts and each week is gonna have five different workouts. Each one of those workouts is gonna be 30 minutes or less. Now, you do not need a gym, but you do need a pull-up bar. So if you don't have one at home, you don't go to a gym, we highly recommend that you pick one of those up. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon. We'll link you to one below in the description. So now that you know what the four-week challenge is and you know who it's for, let's get into some of these FAQs because you guys, we get so many questions from you and so this video is an awesome opportunity to let all the community members know who aren't in the four-week challenge that this is available and for the rest of you, it's a great opportunity to get your questions answered. Number one, a lot of people ask us, when is the best time of day to work out? Man, there is no best time. The best time is your best time. It's all about creating a habit that you can stick with. So if you have to get up at 5 a.m. before work and like, you just don't have the energy, you don't wanna do it, maybe wait until after work, it's okay. There's not a best time to work out, you guys. The best time is the time that you're gonna stay consistent with. Should I eat before I work out? Now, this is a question that I can't answer for everyone because some people are gonna to wanna to do intermittent fasting, some people are not. We personally do intermittent fasting. I'll link you to the video where we talk about it. You do not need to eat before your workout. And just in general, guys, think about it this way, like common sense. When you eat a lot of food, your body's gonna be putting a lot of energy into digestion, especially the, the first one or two hours after you eat. So if you give yourself a little bit more time, that's great. If you, if you don't have that time, that's all right as well. Don't overwhelm yourself with the artificial complexity of like, when should I eat? Just eat when you want to and work out whenever you want to. Now many of you ask us, what if I need a day off during the challenge that isn't scheduled? That's 100% cool. And I'm about to answer a lot of questions like this in succession, where I'm gonna be saying basically the same thing. It doesn't matter if you need a day off, take your day off and get back to it. This question is very similar. Can I work out every other day? And that's 100% fine. When you're first getting started, if you need a day off in between your workouts, that's cool. All we want you to do is continue to push yourself. So whatever that looks like the next week, just push yourself a little bit farther. And that's all we're asking for. If you're doing the workout and you get done with your, your first, second, third, fourth circuit, and you need more than a minute to rest before you do the next circuit, that's 100% fine as well. Listen, the workouts that we give you are what we think are the best for you, but if you need to work up to being able to do them, that's 100% fine, because when we first got started, we couldn't do the whole workouts either. So you're starting where we started, so you're gonna end up where we are if you stay consistent. What if I miss a bunch of workouts or even take weeks or months off from working out? You guys, you don't have to start from the beginning of the challenge, just pick it up where you left off and get back into it. Don't overthink it, just pick up where you left back off. Nothing is gonna be hurt because you took some time off. What if within one of the workouts, I can't do one of the exercises? You guys, listen, some of those exercises, especially the jump rope ones towards the end of the challenge are definitely much more difficult. Some other ones like the star jumps, for example, those are difficult exercises. So if you can't do them right now, just substitute a different exercise. We'll give you a lot of modifications actually in the PDF, but if those modifications aren't there for an exercise and you can't do it, go ahead and just do an exercise you can do. So if it's jump rope and we want you to do something more difficult like crisscross or a double under, just replace it with a regular bounce. If it's a lower body exercise and we want you to do something like star jumps, replace it with air squats. You guys can take this from here. Look at the exercises that you can do and then go ahead and replace exercises that you can't do right now with ones that you can. And you'll work up to them at some point. What if I don't have time for the whole workout? You guys, 100% fine. Do as much as you can. Do your best on a day in and day out basis. That's all we're gonna ask from you. And besides, the workouts are only 30 minutes or less. So you're gonna have plenty of time to get this in some point during your day if you prioritize it. What jump rope should I use? You guys, cross rope 
It's linked in the description below. It's the one we're using in every one of our YouTube videos. It's our favorite rope because we honestly believe it's the best rope in the world. We've tried a bunch of them now and they're just the best. So if you want 10% off, we threw it in the description below for you as well. What kind of surface should I jump on? All right, in general, if you're using a jump rope, it's gonna wear more quickly if you're jumping on concrete and that is also gonna be a little bit harder on your knees, your joints. But understand this, we want you not to be limited by what your surface is around you that you can jump on. So if you only have concrete, use concrete. But if you can get into a, you know, a gym on hardwood floor or something that has just a little bit more give, and this could be outside, really any place where you can skip that rope with rhythm and it's, the rope's not getting tripped up, that's fine. The more give you have to your surface, even better. If you don't have a great flat surface, we can also recommend that you grab the cross rope mat that you can take basically anywhere, slap it down, and do your workouts on that mat. What do I do when I finish the challenge? A lot of people get to the end of the challenge and wonder, what do we do next? The next step after the four week challenge is graduating onto one of our more jump rope and body weight intensive workouts, depending on what your goals are. So after that four weeks of jump rope workouts, we're hoping that you have more clarity around what you wanna do, whether it's gain muscle or get lean, and we will send you to the course that works best for you when you finish the challenge. That's basically it when it comes to the challenge, guys. If you wanna grab it, it's linked up in the first line description below. I'll also throw it up here in the corner for you. Uh, all you have to do is take our intake survey from the homepage of our website, enter your email, and we will send that PDF directly to your inbox. If you don't see it, check the spam folder. Sometimes it ends up in there. Thanks again for supporting us and helping us build this awesome movement we have going at Zendu Fitness. We are so appreciative of each and every one of you. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please subscribe to the YouTube channel right now using the button below the video. And uh, we'll see you in the next Jump Rope video.